This video is not sponsored nor is it endorsing any product. Now that we've gotten that out of the way, one of the new normal these days is the need for public registration. Every mall you enter, every shop you shopped, and every restaurant you eat in requires you to have your temperature taken and to register yourself. But do you know what information are you required to give and to whom you are giving that information to? To encourage us to make more videos like this, please like, share and subscribe. We will really appreciate it. Thank you. To assist in managing the COVID-19 outbreak, the Government of Malaysia has implemented the need for public registration either by way of the MySajatra check-in application or by providing personal details manually on a record book before making an entrance. The need for public registration is meant to support the implementation of the Prevention and Control of Infectious Diseases Act 1988. It is needed to enable the Minister of Health to monitor the movement of people so that the government can take immediate action to contact and identify individuals who were at the same premise with one who is tested positive of the virus. In responding to the concerns of the public about the sharing of personal information at public registration, the Government of Malaysia states that the provision of name and telephone number will suffice. Here comes the concern part. If this two information is sufficient for the government to contact you, it will also be sufficient for any telemarketers or scammers to do the same. One can simply take his phone out and take a snapshot of the record book to gain access of everyone's contact. Should one then give incomplete particulars or false details? Surely not. It is an offence to provide false information under Section 22 of the Prevention and Control of Infectious Diseases Act 1988 and Section 233 of the Communication and Multimedia Act 1998. The penalty for doing so can be found in Section 24 and 25 of the Prevention and Control of Infectious Diseases Act 1988 and Section 233 Sub 3 of the Communications and Multimedia Act 1998. It is therefore crucial for business owners and its employees to be vigilant when taking down details of the public. Section 9 of the Personal Data and Protection Act 2010 imposes a duty on companies to protect your data from being misused or disclosed without authorization. Anyone found in breach of this commits an offence and shall, on conviction, be liable to a fine not exceeding 100,000 ringgit Malaysia or to imprisonment for a term not exceeding one year or both. Dear business owners, you have been warned. To avoid such predicament, it is better to use the MySajatra check-in application for public registration as the personal information is kept confidential by the government and is not shared with the business owners or its employees. We do after all trust our government, don't we? Anyway, the MySajatra check-in application is owned and operated by the government of Malaysia the government assures that any personal information will only be used for the purpose of managing and mitigating the COVID-19 outbreak. The government also assures that it will not share your information to any party and such information is stored for 90 days and will be purged thereafter. To sum it up, public registration is compulsory. The only information you need to provide is your name and phone number. There are repercussions in providing false details and unwelcome consequences for business owners or employees who are found to have disseminated personal data. Lastly, now that you know how the MySajatra check-in application works, shouldn't we all do our part and be responsible Malaysians?